Today I'm reading There's an Alligator Under My Bed by Mercer Mayer. All right, today I'm going to be reading There's an Alligator Under My Bed by Mercer Mayer, drawings and text by the same person. There's only one person's name on the cover. There is an alligator under the bed. <laughs> There's an alligator under my bed. There used to be an alligator under my bed. When it was time to go to sleep, I had to be very careful. Okay. Because I knew he was there. But whenever I looked, he hid or something. It's his eye. So I call mom and dad. But they never saw it. It was up to me. I just had to do something about that alligator. So I went to the kitchen to get some alligator bait. I filled a paper bag full of things alligators like to eat. Clever idea. I put, pe I put a peanut butter sandwich, some fruit, and the last piece of pie in the garage. Interesting. I put cookies down the hall. I left fresh fruit. I'm sorry. I left fresh vegetables on the stairs. I put a soda and some candy next to my bed. And then I watched and waited. Sure enough, out he came to get something to eat. <laughs> then I hid in the hall closet. I followed him down the stairs. I followed him down the hall. He's getting all the little cookies. Clever, clever, clever. When he crawled into the garage, I slammed the door and locked it. Then I went to bed. There wasn't even any mess to clean up. Now that there is an alligator in the garage, I wonder if my dad will have trouble, any trouble getting into his car tomorrow morning. Mm. I'll just leave him a note. And here's the note. He has a picture of the alligator. Dear Dad, there is an alligator in the garage. He's misspelled it. Garage. He corrected it. If you need help, wake me up. Warning. Be careful. The end. That was There's an Alligator Under My Bed. Thank you, boys and girls.